everybody, this is Stephanie O'Connell from stephanieoconnell.com and I have a great group of women with me here today talking about money and why we make certain decisions and why sometimes we don't and where we disagree. Now you probably all read my engagement story. If you didn't, I gave back my ring because priorities, values. I clearly don't think you should have given back the ring. I think you could have exchanged it. I think it's a nice public acknowledgement that you are together, and I think you should have a ring. We're gonna get a wedding ring, though. But I think there is always a ring that is in your budget. I'm curious what your thoughts are on engagement rings and, and how much money you would expect someone to spend. My sister just got married, and her ring was like my grandma's old ring, which I think is probably ideal. Like, I think I would feel very bad if my partner spent like however, how much, like three months of your income on, on a ring. I don't think I'd want that. I don't like anyone yeah. telling me I should spend two months salary on anything. Yeah. Things that we think are rules or that we should be following are really were marketing ploys to yeah. want to make us want to buy the ring and make the men want to buy the ring. Mm -hmm. And so we just have to be aware. I always say as long as you're aware, even if you know all that and you still choose to do it, that's fine. Right. But just be aware that you know possibly you're really just following a marketing scheme. <laughs> I will admit that like my eagle definitely came into play a lot when it came to the ring. It was like a status symbol of, oh, like look at I have a ring and it's nice and when people complimented me on it, it felt good. I think it's just as a status symbol, like you know, you it, it's like a traditional thing, but I, I feel like people in our generation aren't, aren't really concerned with that. I think it's kind of ridiculous if it doesn't fit into your overall like money plan and money goals for the year and so on and so forth. So it's literally like for me personally how I figured out how you know much I could afford was where am I at currently? What's really important here in this situation? And it's getting engaged and you know entering into a marriage. It's not necessarily all about the stone. I feel like engagement rings are getting much more smaller in size, but they're pretty still. I know a couple people that are like, oh my god, it has to have a huge rock, it has to be like more than a thousand dollars, and I'm just like, it's more about the thought that you put into it. Like if you think that this is what I would like, then that's fine. Because at the end of the day, it's a thought that counts. I'm all for just people doing what they want to do and what works for them. And so I agree with if someone wants to have a ring because they love that symbol, and even if it's a status symbol for them and it makes them feel good, that's fine. I still feel like girls want their boyfriends to spend a lot of money on it. You know, a nice diamond is like, shows off a little bit. But if someone says, hey, I don't want one, you know, that's fine too. Nowadays, it's like, not like before. Before, you had to do that. Nowadays, it's like, you know, you're willing to be with me, I'm willing to be with you, let's make kids. <laughs> Point out, it was clearly important to your fiance because he got you a ring. But he was totally fine with me returning it. We both decided to return the ring. We've been in this relationship for six years. We're talking about having that symbol of commitment. I'm gonna have that symbol of commitment in a wedding ring but it's just a few months later. And I am like Ajita about having something expensive on my person. When he gave me the ring, I was like, I need to return this immediately yeah. because I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna damage it. It's nice to have, but I don't really think it's necessary. My fiance, now husband, he like knew I wanted a ring and I had like this, not the specifications, but I said like, I like this kind of ring. Looking back on it, I actually probably would have approached it differently knowing what I know now. Like I probably wouldn't had harped on maybe like clarity. That's not as important. Maybe we could have done more things with that money instead. You know, we only living the life happy. Me and you, no rain. Having a lot of fun go everywhere. Spend the money, you know, like vacation. Having fun is good. I did a layaway for the ring just wow. so I could do like payments towards getting this particular ring. Just so it wouldn't stretch my budget, just so I would stay within that so I could be very particular about what ring I was going to get instead of like going nuts and crazy and like, well, I think it should be bigger. I think it should like, this is what I'm gonna get. This is how I'm gonna pay for it and that's it. best price for what yeah. you want. Yeah. Right. That's also a really important lesson. Whatever price point you're at, get the best value for what you're spending. Get married when you want to get married. Get engaged when you want to get I think the wrong number 
is anything that prevents you from doing what you want to do. Thank you so much for tuning in. To learn more about each of these women, check out the links below. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave us a comment with what you think. And make sure you subscribe for more Money Talk from these wonderful ladies and more.